I like to ride all types of train, but I like to go fast, maybe a little technical, some air in there, I don't know. That's why I like mountain biking. In my mind, I think I'm strong at Alp Dries because of a nice track that gives me a lot of energy, the nature, the mountains. It's this mixture, I think it's technical riding and physical strongness that gives me the advantage to win it. As long as I can remember, as many times as I've broken myself up or been sick, and I don't mean a cold, I mean Priest standing at the end of your bed. All right. Anytime I could throw right. my leg over a bike and roll a little bit, I knew things right. were going to be okay. There's always big prize purses in uh, big contests like the Cash Guy, you know, Crank Works, all them big contests out there, due to slope style. So for a lot of riders, especially me, you know, it pushes me in the, in, into getting into them contests because, you know, you know you're going to be throwing down your biggest tricks in front of all the crowd, but also, you know, if you're getting in the top three, you're going to be winning, winning a big prize purse. So you can be going home buying your new cars, you can go home buy some nice bling, you know, for whatever you need. Honestly, like, couldn't be much happier with it. You know, I didn't think a Hux bike would ride so well on a downhill track, but it, it really does, you know. I think I found something pretty good, and I'm so happy with my bike, and I'm happy where I'm riding, you know. Their hands are a little more active to what I'm used to, so that's pretty nice on some of the, some of the smaller bumps and the rougher stuff. It's kind of like brought a fresh, fresh bit of life into riding again to get a new bike. get to the level that we're at like you got to have people uh, other people to ride with and, and push you and if you see one person do something like, oh, I can do that and I could do this too you know I can do something better and then it's, it's uh yeah, we've all got friendly rivals and uh, we just go back and forth and it's just like a <clears throat> we're just putting on a show for each other and just you know it's it's fun Basically, my riding style is like a leopard. It's good when you turn up at a competition and the other riders know who you are and know what you're capable of. My goals are to be the best like in contests. This year I mainly focused on doing competition. For me, that's like the coolest thing ever. I got my name out there and, and I think when you put on pressure to other riders, you can kind of relax more, and when you relax, that's when the best riding comes out of the person. Oh, I got it. I got the reason why I like mountain biking so much. It just dawned upon me. It's because you're like, the reason these things are so good is because you're so connected to the ground. You know, like every little terrain feature you feel throughout the whole bike, through your whole body, and you know, you can change, you can change what you do to, you know, get through the section. Being that connected makes you really fast, you're light on your feet. And, you know, in my mind, this is the best machine that I could possibly take down a hill. It's the fastest two wheel drift machine you can get. My bike is sick. <laughs> bike is sick, and it's fun. Full suspension, big travel bikes, pinning it through gnarly stuff, that's good times. That's the fun stuff. Maybe two of my friends mountain bike, all the rest of my other friends grew up playing hockey and bull riding and being rednecks, you know, just they do go four buying and I don't know, I got a mountain biking and I love it. I think the sickest thing about building with the three best friends in the world is just going out there and like picking the line, but, but actually watching how your original idea just changes into something way more gnarly than you ever imagined. and You just have to end up hitting it. You built it for yourself, you gotta ride it.
started riding when I was about 10. So I've been riding seven years now, I guess. Never BMXed or anything, just straight to the mountain bike. Basically, you get to school and back and then start jumping off little things. And I always thought dirt jumping was the coolest thing to do. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm really good at dirt jumping, probably because I could hit some little tabletops or something. But that definitely changed once I got a full suspension bike. Confident most of the time. Try not to overthink anything and go for it. My name is Bobby McMullen. I specialize, if you will, in downhill free ride and Super D, the speed events of the sport. You know, me being a legally blind double organ transplant recipient, there's a lot to lose. Moon left. I don't see out of my left eye and my right eye. I'm 20, 1200 best corrected vision. If you were to imagine how I see, well, shapes and shadows and some color movement to a certain extent. And, uh, even on a more practical sense, just close your left eye and look through a rolled up piece of paper with Vaseline over the lens. People go, well, you're not totally blind. Well, no, I'm not. I use the 20% side I have the best I can. I feel really lucky that I work with some great riders, but when I don't have that 20%, they get outside of a bike length or two, I don't see anything. And there are certain moments where the intensity level, I mean, intensity is super high all the time for me. I am just learning how to relax on the bike and it is a tribute to the gear and it is a tribute to the people but there's moments when I'm out there literally looking for movement, looking for shape, looking for shadows, looking for something. My instincts are to look to the ground but when it's pitch black running down any one of the trails up here I'm depending on those guys and for me it's that element of risk, that element of excitement where I am running totally blind if you will chasing my guide that I ride my best. Come on, up, down. Right, one ride, right. Little left, one ride, left, one ride. Up, 
Gosh. Kind of pushing the limits every day of my life. It's, you know, tomorrow's a long way away in my book. Right, 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 right. Because I know every day I put my feet on the floor. Come on. I'm playing that day like it's the fourth on quarter, you. like it's the last thing I'm going to do. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Ah. Nothing's broken, guys. Good. Pretty sure my day's done. But there is nothing better than having our breath taken away, being scared a little bit in my book. I'm going to play every minute. I'm not going to wait till the last two minutes of the game. I'm Rune Wildhaber from Switzerland. Born on a farm in Flunseberg. Parents didn't have a car, so I didn't see anything at all. So then later I did World Cup races and that opened up my mind. My strategy in the Mega Valmarsh races is always to go full gas and go as fast as I can on every section. It's this mixture, I think it's technical riding and physical strongness that gives me the advantage to win it. The Mega Valorch race on Alp Duess is a 27 kilometers long downhill race. I won this race six times. In uh, 2008, uh, I had a really bad start. I took the wrong side and there were so many riders on, on one line, just like we had one handlebar over the other. So I get stuck in the fence and later in a Eurosport camera and then in a pedal of a of another rider. Yeah, maybe I was starting on the 40th position. My strategy was still the same, to go full gas and go as fast as I can on every section. Then I get back in the downhill section, one after the other. Just before Alp Duez, I was in front of the race. So uh, on the flat part there, Remy Opsono came back and took me over, but in, the, in a short, steep climbing, I, I, I speeded up and I get back on first position and from then on I could lead the race. After this bad start, I didn't think big things, so uh, I stayed concentrated and believed in my chance. Hi, my name is Lance McDermott. I'm 22 years old from Manchester, England. 
jokes I played the fool I took time Made all the plans I know I told you That we were supposed To have something Work for this weekend But I changed my mind I changed my mind I changed my mind I changed my mind And I changed my mind Well it started Getting cozy girl I let you control the reins And despite what I knew To be true Well I situations in retrospect when the things you say would shift direction when put into action but I just let it whiz on by people say help me it's going around and I flip on so that's not mine we're, uh, we're here right now in uh, Crankworks Whistler um, it's like the biggest event of the year for me you know riding riding contests is like the biggest part of uh, mountain biking for me I, I love riding my bike wherever I go but when I go to a contest, it gives me such a, you know, adrenaline. It gives me such a rush to ride with all the big guys, you know, competing up there against other riders. trying to throw down the biggest tricks that I can throw down and in front of a big crowd you know it just it gives you a great feeling to know that a crowd's behind you and pushing you in the right direction and uh, everyone's proud to see you doing really well on a mountain bike and doing what you want to do and what you love doing so At the end of the day, if you've got big tricks, you're going to have big results, so... Welcome to the South Africa to see the Mountain Biking World Cup. Wow! When I was like about 10, 11, 12, I used to just ride, ride BMX with my mates and uh, just play around really and we'd build jumps and, and go do stuff. And then there was a downhill race and uh, raced the first couple of downhills on a BMX and then got a mountain bike and just went from there really. When I was a lot younger, I just I always used to be into dirt jumping with my friends, and we always used to like make turns and stuff and dirt jumps and just have a laugh, and that was cool. And I was always like kind of one of the best at pissing around. And I did a race and did pretty good. I ended up winning it. So I guess that's when you, you know you're doing all right when you're when you're beating everyone else your age.
Hey, my name is Jamie Goldman. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I like to ride big jumps, fast trails. My dad got me a job at Santa Cruz Bicycles. He knew uh, the owner, Rob Roskop, real well. And uh, it ended up being stuffing envelopes with stickers. Rob asked me if I had a bike. He was like, man, we really need to get you on a mountain bike. One day he just came up to me and he gave me a sweet new frame. I started riding every day and I was super stoked. After a while, I started, you know, calling in sick and stuff, just going riding. I was like 14, so I didn't want to go to work. Then after about a couple months of doing that, uh, Rob came up to me one day and was kind of just like, you know, man, I think we're going to have to let you go. When I'm filming, I'm pretty particular about everything when it's on camera, like what gets used needs to be perfect and it's hard sometimes to get the perfect shot, but it's worth it to get the right shot, especially if it's gonna be used in a movie that so many people are gonna see. Most of the time when I'm riding, it's not really to, for anybody else, it's just for me to go have fun and I like to build stuff and go ride it and just be with my buddies. That's pretty much one of the biggest reasons that I ride. It's just be with all your friends and have fun.
Whenever I ride my bike, I'm always thinking about riding single track. No matter what I ride on, what kind of terrain, alpine, big mountains, you know, big hits or whatever, it's always a trail in my head. If we're finding a big center line or if we're finding just smooth open slopes, it's always foot wide single track. It's like a piece of trail that I'm riding down and when I'm looking at it, I, I just kind of see that. I don't see anything else. I just see the single track that, I, you know, it's always in my head. everything the, like the potential that everything has you can look at any peak or any mountain and be like yeah I see a trail down there I see a trail down there Hi I'm Sam Pilgrim I'm a dirt jump rider and uh, I love to ride loads of loads of different stuff my bike is a diamond back, it's a hard tail, and I pretty much try and do everything I can on it, uh, from riding downhill stuff to dirt jumping, obviously, and yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I like going, I like going really fast and drifting, and I like going big and doing big tricks, and just linking all that stuff together to make some cool different riding is really exciting for me. I, at home I have an enduro motorbike and uh, when, I, when I'm riding on the downhill courses I try and kind of make it seem like that. So I like it when it's all wet and muddy and good fun like that. <laughs> My bike is so good for me because it's, I've made it so it's really light and easy to manoeuvre. It's, it's like an aluminium frame and the geometry is set out perfectly for me. And it just helps me, just helps me get better and better when you have a perfect bike and it's so light like that and you can just do tricks off everything. <laughs> it's good, good, good fun.
eight, Steve Romanuk here. We're in Chatel, France. About to tackle this Alpine single track all the way to the bottom and most high performance piece of metal I can get down to the bottom with faster than anything else in my mind. So that's what I try to represent in my section is showing up at a place like this, a big Alpine ski resort and try to pin it all the way to the bottom. Can you even imagine my life without mountain biking right now? I'd be a lifer at the old sawmill. There's a lot of them in this town. I just wanted to be different. I want to be out in these epic zones. Just found some good shoot lines. And we found this one line, 360 in, and then it's got another drop right after it. pretty gnarly like been sending it non-stop I probably had one of the most heinous crashes I've had in a while
When we set out to build a line, we, we try to envision our mountain as a giant sandbox. We just love our giant sandbox. We just go out there and build whatever we can think of. I'm Dylan, and all I want to do is shred. In your arms forever. My name's Curtis Robinson. If you build a berm, I will destroy it. Hey, I'm Norby, straight out of PG, and I like to party on the trails. Yo, man, I'm Kyle J. I love this shit. Kick my dreams to the curb, not there. We've been downtown, we've been downtown, we've been downtown. Don't forget that we were there. 